Most cars. I'm excited. Are you are you nervous though? So, I mean, the Marauders ready for whatever you saw. It. This is the last pair in round two. C8 versus CTSV. Mm. That C8, dude, it launches good. Almost as good as the Marauder. <laughs> wow. Humble, too. Very humble. I love it. <clears throat> humble Gotta brag. love it. Love to see it. Got a little oh, warm him up. up. Let the dog eat. Here we go. Matt Winnington in that banged up Corvette, but Cletus said it. Those Corvettes, they are weapons. CTSV taking that low line. That C8 just handles so well. And speaking of Cadillacs and uh, the, the V version, Alec Carsons is up here. He's joined us. Is he a late entry? I think he's going to go out there and compete in Spark Tanner Dragon. Oh, you were in the SCI. Oh. Alec, you lost twice. I would have said Josh was in the car. No, I was in the second time. Oh, okay. I was like super close. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, they said that C8 is impressive. impressive. He won our last event. I think the only guy here that's got something for him is that VR4. Oh, yeah. They might end up in the final. Well, you think the VR4 or the Eclipse? Because both of them Diamond Stars are, are, are ripping. You're saying the VR4. Give me the international hand signal. All right, Kevin Byer, Matt Whittington. Here we go. Matt, get the jump. Cletus, this is what you expected, right? Savage? Yeah, it's all over but the crying now. CTSV trying to close the gap. Yep. C8's going to move on. Big old CTSV had nothing for it. Cletus, when are you getting a C8? When do you when do you get one, bud? Had one, sold it. <laughs> you talk them up so much. I'm surprised you still don't own one. All right. Well, it looks like Cletus McFarland is jumping behind the wheel of his Marauder. He does advance on as we've gone to 20 pairs, 10 pairs, and now five pairs. So in that 10 pair, it was the best of three. What are your expectations and how, some awesome battles there? Oh, 100%. I think that BR4 is going to be one of our lead contenders tonight. That car just gets down. It works. That and the C8, that one that just ran, those two, it's going to be a good battle. What Unless about our... that Eclipse runs. I think that's going to be a good run. Cletus, of course, this is his home track. That VR4 just runs. The VR4 runs, the Marauder runs, the Eclipse, also the Shelby GT350, driven by a Marine Corps sergeant from Ohio, the Shelby GT350. And it, it seemed like he was gaining some more confidence. FYI, this is free 90 free, meaning that you are getting compliments of Cletus McFarland and the Freedom Factory. You are watching for free. But in just, like, moments, you need to go to baldeagle.com because everything else from here on out into the Danger Ranger, 9,000 coming into your own living room or here in the stands at Freedom Factory will be have to be paid for. So go ahead and go to baldeagle.com. Join the party. Nick Savage, myself, Jared Dienda, of course, Cletus McFarland. We'll see if he advances on, see if he wins. Here we go. Let's send it down back to the track. Looks like we got Cletus here. Oh, getting tight there in turn one. The VR4 stepping on the gas, going out of turn two, putting a NASA gap on that Marauder. Let's see if Cletus can track him down. He's got that uh, hand out the window. Nice little stance. Oh, Ooh. trying to make the gas. <laughs> you, you're talking about Cletus's, you know, arm being out the window, holding on to the roof. It didn't come down onto the wheel until that final <laughs> corner. He says, "Okay, now, now I need, to, now I need to run." He had to really step on it there. Yeah, he did. But unfortunately, all of that effort still lost in that first portion of that battle. Mm. So again, best of three. We are down to five pairs. Cletus McFarland going against the VR4. Who do we have piling that vehicle? Mike Vincent? That is Mike Vincent. That is correct. The 91 Mitsubishi VR4. Again, our free preview ending here. Go to baldeagle.com to continue watching. Oh, wow. He's like, okay. Cletus is not going to give him that line. Okay, All right, is, give him a running start. This is some strategy here. 
But I, I'm surprised because I would, I would think that the lower line is the line to have. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's giving him a little gap? I mean, that, this is, this is oh, absolutely two insane. Two car lengths. Okay, Cletus is going for the showmanship. He dropped oh! the oh, He's taking the lower <laughs> line. He's oh, taking the inside track. He's taking the about jump. to lose it. Mike Vincent, that VR4 still might be able to get the win. The Cletus clinch. Oh, the, the VR4 still gets him by a fender. <laughs> and look at that. Just as soon as it began, it was over for Cletus McFarland. Make some noise for Cletus McFarland and the Marauder here. The competition drags. The burnout box being utilized, and guess what? This is not the only time. Because, yes, we have the Danger Ranger 9000, but we have a bunch of other festivities going on, right, Savage? I mean, I'm, I'm hearing about, you know, other vehicles, other uh, other surprise guests. What, what are your expectations? What did you say last night? Is there any Cletus fans out there? Yeah. You should say it again. I just, it just happened again. He's just getting like out of his car. Are, are there any Cletus McFarland fans out there? Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, mother. He Heck just yeah. lost. He just lost. I, That's what you said. I figured that was my best <laughs> shot at beating him. Let's go yeah. infield. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the Cletus clinch. I like the arm out the door. That's, that's my favorite part. It did not move until that last corner in turn four. Here we go. Back to the action. Car number 19. That Mercedes C43. Robert Brooks. Robert Brooks pilot that Mercedes. And then Denny Dimitrova. Oh, wow. Look at this. The broker's putting the gap on the McLaren. Wow. I wonder if uh, something's, something's gone awry for the McLaren of Denny. Maybe they're just going to take a little hot laps. I don't know. He kind of gave that one up. Like you think have to win problem? the next two to move on. I'm not sure. This it is didn't a sound like the McLaren was up on his launch control before they left. And maybe he just said, ah, screw it, whatever. This might be strategy as I'm well. Ask him. All right, Cletus running over to the McLaren, seeing what's going on. What's the uh, communique? You got all good? All right, cool. All right, here we go. Thumbs up. Says we're good. Launching hard. Tap at the brakes. Oh. Made back to oh, man. Let it rip. No, oh, something's going on with that McLaren. Going in low into turn McLaren's three. McLaren's not making it to round three. Nope. nope. But guess what? The real estate broker by day, Robert Brooks, takes it to the house and moves on. Mercedes moving on, man. I really thought the McLaren was going to rip, but it looks like it might be having some issues. You know, in the drag racing world, they say uh, put him on the trailer, but he drove that car, so. <laughs> Still funny. That was a good little race. Uh-oh, here we go. This Eclipse is a ripper. Kenneth Klein piloting the 98 Mitsubishi Eclipse. The Camaro, we talked about the newcomer, Manny Garcia, I believe that's who this is. No, it's car number 22. Yes, it is Manny Garcia. Can Manny Garcia close the gap? This uh, launch right here is going to be a big tell-all. Kenneth Klein with the two or three card leads so far going into turn one. Looks about like uh, three buses. Kenneth Klein coming into turn four, about to get the W on this first race. No problem. Absolutely dominant, that Eclipse GT. Cletus, I think your premonitions of the Eclipse GT and the VR4 coming together, I think that's going to happen, brother. Best of three. I'm still thinking that the Eclipse has it. 
I'd love to see the bow tie get the win. Big I bow know tie you guy. would. I know you would. But I definitely like this Eclipse. It's a ripper. Keith Klein in that 98 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Getting him with the launch. And Manny Garcia in that white Camaro closed the gap. He's trying, coming into turn three, but it looks like Kenneth Klein in that Eclipse coming out of turn four is about to take home the W. No problem. Absolutely no problem. Still a good-looking Camaro. I get it. You like American <laughs> cars. I get it. You know, they wouldn't let me wear my Jason Carter, Mark Mickey <laughs> shirt with that Malibu on the back. All right. But here we go. We got the G2350. Racing the C8. Ooh. Who's got the GT350? Who's got the C8? Damn. A lot of people rooting for that C8. I'm going to have to root for the C8 with you guys. I think it's quick. All right, here we go off the line. The C8 gets the jump, banged up, battered, bruised, but no big deal. Let's see if that GT350 can close the gap coming out of turn two, but the C8. C8 is just so fast. Coming out of turn four, what's gonna happen? Looks like that C8 will take it in round one. C8 gets it. The VR4 versus the C8, That that is what I'm waiting for. Oof. Let's see if this GT350 can get redemption on round two. Yeah, you never know. He can come back and win it. Going into round two of this battle. C8 versus GT350. Here we go. Well, the C8's got that lower line. The GT350 definitely needs to get the jump here. Let's see what happens. Nope. Nope. Peace. It's over. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. But I'll tell you what, Marine Corps Sergeant. Anthony Barranco piloting that Shelby GT350. He's going to fight. Come on, let him hear you, everybody. Anthony Barranco, the GT350. Can he come oh, back? Oh, he goes high. Going he in high. In? And the CA Corvette gets the win. Hey, round of applause for these two all-American racers out here ripping. Yep. That was tight. Dude, I was worried about the Mustang for a minute there. Oh, man. <laughs> Did you pucker up a little bit? Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are going into round four. We're going to have about five minutes of intermission, and then we're going to pull up our semi-finalists. Thank you so much, Cletus. Uh, Savage, some awesome racing so far. As Cletus said, short little intermission break, but uh, your, your thoughts real quick. Oh, man, it's been a great spectator drag so far. I still think the VR4 is going to take home the W. All right. Look at that. He said it. He's All-American, and he's, he's rooting for a Mitsubishi VR4. When we come back, some more action here at Freedom Factory. Remember, baldeagle.com. Go ahead. Subscribe. Click. Smash that button. Go ahead. Do it. We'll be right back. now, let's go. Air Freedom Factory. Send it. It was, a it was a short intermission break here as uh, Nick Savage, myself, Jared DeAnda here, wrapping out at Freedom Factory. Love this place. I mean, you could see the bald eagles just soaring, the American flags are waving, the fans in the stands. This place is something of modern-day automotive folklore. And just coming here, you just, you just get this vibe of, of just absolutely awesomeness. Oh, the track's come a long way. I love what Cletus has done with it. Um, the new lights are a huge addition. Uh, compared to what it was like at the Freedom 500 to what it is now. Big improvements. Looks like we're about to have our next race. Oh, man. We've whittled it down now to, I, I believe this is three pairs, right? This is, yeah, we saw, we saw 20, 10, 5, and now three pairs 
here going head to head. Mike Vincent, Robert Brooks, this is the VR4. This is the battle we're looking for. Cletus, what do you think? What's your expectations? Oh, we're, oh, we're, we're, oh, man. Did we just ice him? Oh, we just ice, we just ice the kicker. <laughs> this is like basically, we, we're, we're going to go for it. We're going to, uh, time out, time out. Who do you think? You got the uh, real estate broker by day? Or I'm saying VR4. VR4? I'm, I'm going on your camp, VR4. I think the VR4 is going to get the victory here. I think the, the real estate broker has done a great job so far with that Mercedes Benz, but the VR4 being all wheel drive, Getting that jump, I think, is just absolutely showing that, uh, that he is dominant. So I think we're going to see the VR4 and the clips go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I on. think that's going to be kind of the battle of the ages, but also the CA Corvette. Hey, guys, make your way back to your seats. We're going to run the semifinals in one minute. All right, Clint McFarland doing, uh, doing some traffic there, getting some people. I, I saw a lot of people like, all right, man, I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. On Mountain Dew. Just need to make sure, uh, you know, head on back to your seats. Want to make sure that you see... Art battles here. Getting all those Hell Yeah Brother specials. I don't know. What do you think? Robert Brooks? Is he going to put that VR4 on the trailer? Maybe? Nope. VR, VR4 is going to get it. I'm sorry, Robert. I've, I've been, you know, been a fan of you all day today. All right, today, guys. Here we go. Are VR4 we going? VR4 versus the Mercedes. Here we go. It looks like Mike Benson getting that launch and that VR4 taking the low line at a turn one. <laughs> Those tires are getting a little slick there. Looks like Mike Benson coming into turn three, taking that low line, going a little high into turn four. Can Robert Brooks close the gap? About three cars behind. Dude, he was a little squirrely trying to get the nut there. You saw him drop down, and then it got a little slick, and you see him moving up that bank. This is when it gets very precarious and could, could lose it and get into that wall. The wall always wins, baby. Oh, all it takes is one missed shift. Attention in the pits. Eyes. Attention in the pits. If you are a Ford Ranger driver tonight, we need you to your truck. We're getting you lined up. Attention in the pits. Ford Ranger drivers, come to your truck. We need you in the pits. All right, here we go. Round two. VR4 takes the first one. See if the Mercedes can get some redemption. It's all going to come down to this launch. Looks like Mike Vincent in the VR4 going to take a drop down, take that low line. We've got Mike Vincent. We've got about 04 car links on Robert Brooks. Oh, look at that. It just as, as you call it. Man, are you no Sodomus? You can see the future, Nick. You they wear a pair of Heat Wave Freedom final. Factory glasses like that? Cletus, Nick, he can, he can look into his crystal ball or his crystal Heat Waves, and he can tell the future. Oh, you know, circle track racing, Nick Savage. Kind of goes together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Drift guy, still love it. Didn't know nothing about it last <laughs> night. Tonight, it's this Nick is Savage, your world. Baby. It, it, only if we had, like, offshore boats just ripping through here as well. You know, we will be in Key West next week. Actually, next month, but we will be next week as well. Let's just uh, see who's going to get this win here. Cletus, what do you think? Who are you pulling for, the C8 or the Eclipse? Oh! Got that Eclipse. The, is this going to be metaphorically the Eclipse for the C8 Corvette? Look at this. Oh, the Corvettes jumping to the side, jumping to the back. Can he close the gap? We got that Eclipse taking home the win. Oh, they're bringing it back. That one's getting called back. The Eclipse jumped. Ooh. Oh. That Let's was a good back. battle. I, you know what? AJ called it. AJ, the flag man, he calls it. That's the final word. I'll tell you what, that... that that's exactly what the Eclipse needs to do. That's Kenneth Klein behind the wheel of that vehicle. You give him the, uh, the old signature throat chop. Oof. To the throat. It all comes down to that launch. How hard can he launch it? That's C8. 
It's been launching pretty hard, but I'm going to have to take the uh, clips here. It's pretty tough to see the flags. Like we said, the, the sun is, you know, from that cockpit of those vehicles, they're looking up at the starter box, right? The bird, the bird's nest up there where the flagger's at, and the sun is right behind them. So it's, it's a little difficult for them to see. Looks like that Eclipse has an American flag on the roof. We have a full restart. These guys are starting from scratch. Eclipse versus CA. Here we go. Can he stall it up? That was clean. Looks like the Eclipse got him out of that the hole. Clean. Can the CA run him down coming out of turn two? He's keeping it consistent. CA coming in hard, trying to drop it down out of turn three. Got the Eclipse oh, taking that low line. Who do we got? The Eclipse. That one was clean. The C8 was sleeping. Sleeping. Oh, man, this is going to be good. It's yeah, hard it, to it was like he was buffering on the start line, just kind of like just loading, loading, and then finally went. But the Eclipse, with that all-wheel drive setup, just, just got the slingshot out of the box. That C8 might be running that launch control. Might have been why there was a delay. Got to be ready. Load it up. It's got a warranty, maybe. So Matt Whittington and the Eclipse of Kenneth Klein. We are in our final Round three two. pairs. Here we go. Who do you got? Clean start. Looks like Kenneth Klein. Clean start. Going to drop it down low. Oh, we got a drag race here. Coming out, turn two. Who do you got? Looks like the C8's taking it high. Oh, can he make it? Gonna drop down. It's coming down to the checkered flag. Oh, oh, oh we got to the motor. Oh, boy. Oh. Yard sale. Grenaded yeah. that thing around the final corner. Cletus makes sure he's okay. He's out of the car. And the Diamond Star Ooh. explodes. Well, looks like American Muscle is going to take it home. Helmets rolling outside of the vehicle. Oh, he's frustrated. No, he's good. He just, I'd be upset too. That was a good runner. Hey, round of applause. Come on, Kenneth Klein, putting it down for y'all. Let's hear the engine that across the finish hell line. Of a run. Hell of a run. Woo! He said stock rods, he broke a rod. Normally in the diesel world, you say build some Sir, heat. Sir, we got to ask eat? you, was it worth it? Absolutely, man. Ab absolutely. That car's a runner. Give it up for him. Let's go. That's the mentality you got to have out here. I'll tell you right now, if it, if it didn't blow up now, it was going to blow up when I won the finals and get all those drive burnouts in your burnout pack. Uh, let's hear for the Eclipse. Come on. I love it. Full send out of that guy. I'm going to send you a bill for my grass, though. <laughs> so the 4AG explodes crossing the finish line. We obviously have some oil on track. Make sure that it's running up to snuff. But uh, let's take a look at it again here. Matt Whittington looks like he comes over, and he's still got some smiles on his face. So coming into this corner, it was a battle down to the end. But obviously, Matt will get the victory. And that Corvette, you know, he knows how it is. That thing's banged up, but minus the panels. Let's take a look at this. You see Matt really pushing hard, but Kevin pushing, excuse me, Kenneth pushing so hard towards the end. Kenneth Klein, watch this. There's turn three. You can see Matt on the outside. Kenneth says, all right, grab another gear. He's Here we go. It. And boom goes the dynamite right there before the finish line. It can only take so much boost. <laughs> I got a piece of piston right here. Ooh. Show that to the camera. We should give it to some lucky guy who wants to burn his hand. <laughs> <laughs> only Alan, give him a waiver. Like, Chuck Alan, give him a waiver. Hey. Hey. We'll let it cool off and we'll give it to someone. Let it cool off. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, we got engine block and all, all kinds of good, good stuff. stuff. Let me get it! All right, so the fans are cheering. They, it's kind of like a foul ball, you know? You get a piece of a piston or a rod. But uh, Kenneth Klein pushed so hard, he says, I was going to do a burnout in the box. But uh, overall, Cletus, is this what you expected? As, again, Kenneth Klein explodes. We're going to get the oil off the track. And, of course, Matt will be moving on as our 
Spectator drags continue. And we are going to see Danger Ranger 9000 later on. Got, uh, got a stack of drivers taking a look at our, our, our tech cards here. Parker Mitchell, he's going to be out there. JH Diesel. We got quite a few homies and drivers. And again, uh, I believe it's one and two overall are going to be getting entrance into the 2.4 hours of Le Mullets. And that, that's going to be a festivity. That's a, that's a big deal for somebody that's just every day at home watching this channel. So it's going to be an exciting race. There's some really fast Rangers out there. I mean, I was surprised. I was here for testing. These guys are putting some numbers down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we talk about the 2.4 hours of Le Mullets. And if you don't know what it is, you're watching, you're tuning in, you're saying, what? What is it? It's normally 24 hours of Le Mans. No. We do things differently here at Freedom Factory. It's the 2.4 <laughs> hours of uh, Le Mullets. Let it flow. There it is. Just let it flow. Back Alex Bowman with the lead. Taylor Ray coming in right behind him. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Here we go. Brent from BFI Speed coming into turn two. 74 car. Well, there's contact in turn four. There's a car spun out to the grass. four hours of late bullets is coming up in just one month november 19th and 20th we will be out here at the freedom factory racing with 20 crown victorias all caged up with nitrous and 40 influencers nascar drivers any car drivers youtubers we got all kinds of people from all kinds of sports coming out oh actually we got a couple nhra championship drivers coming too Anyone you can think of is joining in this race, and it is going to be a blast. Join us November 19th and 20th, Lay Mullins pay per view, buy it at baldeagle.com. We'll see you there. What's up, everybody? It's official Nick Savage. I'm up here with the queen herself, <laughs> Lori Mitchell. This yeah. is Cletus's mom. Everybody give it up for Lori. Let's hear it. Woo! Woo! Jared had to step out for a second. Lori came up. I was yeah. like, you're getting in here right now. We're on it. So. Yep. What are what we going to announce? So, so they're cleaning up the, the track right now. Are you, are you a little uh, not real sure? She's kind of like, no. Nope. I don't know, Nick. We're about to get it. All right, this is the deal, everybody. Last night when you started stomping on the stands, me and Mark didn't realize you were going to do that. I literally thought the stands were falling. I about had a heart attack. It was, it was kind of rough on your boy. Okay. okay. But what do you think so far of the spectator drags? You know what? I love coming out here and having everybody here. I said this is the best fan base of anyone I've ever come across. Everybody is so happy to be here. Everybody is so polite. It is just fantastic to every have everybody. I love it. What a great night out here at the Freedom Factory. Beautiful night. All the upgrades that Cletus has done to this track, it's unbelievable Yes. what he's done. If you could have seen what it looked like, obviously you saw it, but for a lot of the fans, just seeing it through the channel, it's just a huge upgrade. A lots of money has went into this, and right. I'm just so thankful that he's put money into this track that other YouTubers can come here and spectators and enjoy a place where you can just let it rip. Right. So that was his vision. I remember when he brought us here the first time, I was like, wow, but I mean, this is like some serious reinvesting that needs here. And uh, he said, I know. And we talked it all through and we went through numbers and he's like, this is just going to be our playground. This is going to be where we're going to do what we do. This is what we're going to do um, for our fan base. And, and here we are. I love it. This is great. I'm not going to lie. I was really pulling for that eclipse, but he blew the motor. I might know a guy, uh, yeah. but he's not going to take home that W tonight. Well, Mark was going to come up here last night and tell us some young Cletus stories. <laughs> and we know that you have some drag racing background in your family and just racing in general. Tell us something funny about Garrett. I do. So, you know, 
He has always been, well, any mother of boys knows that you have to keep your eyes on them. They are just, you know, into everything, and he was one of those boys. So, um, oh, my gosh, there's so many stories. I'm so glad he's on that blower. <laughs> he can't hear us right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we have some, well, one of the first times Mark and I were out of town, actually, and his sister was supposed to be watching him. And I got a call from the principal, and um, he said, that. so your son, he uh, drove the tractor to school. So this is a big John Deere farm tractor, and drove it to school and parked it in the teacher's parking lot. So <laughs> first call was to his sister. Did you know your brother drove the tractor to school? No. And... Um, they weren't allowed to have phones in school, so I couldn't get a hold of him, and he just didn't think it was that big of a deal. Well. So, you know, there was a lot of principal phone calls. Not anything bad, but just naughty. So yeah. when he was younger, when you guys went to the zoo, did anybody ever say, hey, thanks for bringing the giraffe back? <laughs> like, was he micro giraffe? He was, no, he was always tall. Um, yeah, no, he was always tall. And for you guys at home, uh, when Nick Savage was introduced to the channel, Garrett picked me up in the middle of the desert. Um, as you know, that was staged at the time. They didn't know. Oh, that's a good um, story. You know, Lori was not too thrilled about that. No. <laughs> so that video came out because he was at, what was that called? It was LS like? Fest West. Yeah, LS Fest West. So that video came out, and I always watch his videos right away. And I called him, and I'm like, what in the holy blank are you thinking to pick some guy up in the middle of the Vegas Strip? Are you kidding me? And there was a lot of bleepy things I can't say. And he was like, Mom, Mom, stop. And uh, he's like, I know him. I'm like, what do you mean you know him? And he's like, it, we, we got it. We did it. <laughs> I was like, I have been stewing all night about this because of the time change, and <laughs> you owe me hours of sleep. Yeah, so the Nick Savage outfit was kind of just born uh, as a joke. Um, Garrett and everybody came to Kansas City oh, for his birthday, and my buddy Justin Keith that on Streetcar Takeover. I was like, I'm going to buy this Macho Man Randy Savage outfit <laughs> as a joke. And it was just a little bit of a hit. You know, it was funny. And then Garrett's like, dude, you need to wear this. So the first video, yeah. he picked me up in the desert. Mm -hmm. And then we went in the burnout pad yeah. at the Hoonigan. Uh, just kind of, it was like a, their style of a burnout pad for what LS Fest allowed them. And, uh, man, it was pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. It was super hot. That uh, jacket doesn't breathe. It's like leather. <laughs> it's not real leather. Um, but, man, we killed it. It was a great time. That yeah. was in Leroy. And, I think um, the video did really well but it's over a million it, views yeah it did give his mother a heart attack i apologize for that yeah. so yeah but i'm glad that you can come up here and see us yes i love I will it turn Tomorrow? it back over oh you can turn it over in just a minute but mark was <laughs> like you need to just twist her arm a little bit because tomorrow we're trying to fly out are you going with us you know what i'm oh, talking yeah. about are you going yeah, with us for sure for sure all right mark you heard it <laughs> All right, we're going to send it back. We got uh, Jared to step back in. Lori, thank you. Give me awesome. some love. Good to see you. Good to see you. Love you, Mama. You guys are awesome. Thank you. All right, everybody at home, what do you think? <laughs> we're out here. Maybe we should start the wave? Can we start it from one end to the other? Maybe have somebody run down, run back and forth. Where's Garza? Sure can. All right, I, I think we can get a wave going, but I will tell you that uh, let's take a look back at 2.4 hours of Les Mullets 2020 on just basically you get an idea of what Les Mullets is as our track cleaning continues on here at Freedom Factory. We're getting a driver change now. Here we go, driver change. So we had such a mess. We're fixing up a couple cars. It's giving us some time to clean up a big mess on turn one and two. And we're doing the driver change right now. Drivers, head out to your drivers. All right, Chris, let's go. Oh my God, we gotta find out. We gotta find Bowman. Oh man. Oh, Alex, Alex, come here, bud. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You are really battling it out there with Taylor Ray. You're holding down first position. It took you about 15 laps or so to clinch that spot. But man, is this crazy or what? What do you got going on? 
This is freaking wild, man. That's so fun. Taylor did a really good job. I ran really hard there, surprising, like really, really hard. So he was really fast. Hopefully we didn't burn the tires up too bad for Garrett. But man, my uh, my car was pretty good. Pit crew was non-existent tonight, so I don't have them to thank. I don't have anybody to thank back at the shop besides the guy that built all these things. So, uh, man, it's just so cool to be here. Glad to be a part of it. Dude, it's you're fun. you're doing awesome, man. It's so exciting to watch this battle for first. We haven't had anything like that, but you really put your partner, Cletus McFarlane, in a great position to potentially take home the victory. Yeah, I mean, I didn't come here to play around. I came here to come home with the El Camino. So um, there's nothing more American or more freedom than El Camino. and. I need one, and I already told Garrett which one I'm, I'm going to pick, so now he's got to hold up his end of the deal. Oh, man, well, you definitely didn't disappoint. The fans at home are on the edge of their seats. Cletus couldn't be more proud than the driving and the, and the way you set him up to take over that second half. Tore it up. This guy tore it up. I'm uh, Pressure's on for Cleter now, dude. I'm going to go out there and try and make you proud. <laughs> All right, let's... El Camino. I know. I'm going to get you one, brother. All right. All right, Chris, let's head back to the back of the pack. Let's see what we got going on. Ronnie, Ronnie, good job, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just bumped Alex Bowman right there, dude. I got him. I mean, it was yellow, but still, I can say I did it. Good job, man. Well, he's a fast driver. All right, what else we got going on? Let's hit some more drivers, Chris. Watch your step there, bud. Holy cow. Booster boys, how are you holding up? What? It's hot in there. So the, the whole point was to just not crash into everybody else, and I let everybody do that. It seems like we lost a couple cars, and uh, our car seems like it's still in good shape. So we'll Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but are you still on the lead lap? I don't think so, no. No, you got passed by some traffic. Yeah, dude, he is fast. Dude, he's quick, and you don't want to know what? Taylor Ray's sticking right with him. Yeah. All right, but Kyle's going to throw it down. All right, guys, let's go find some people. Hey, how'd y'all like that come up? Come up 14th to third, and then somebody pitted me and flatted my tire. Yeah, you were doing impressive, dude. You were coming up in positions. It was wild to see you really drive and maneuvering. You're quite the driver. I came back out, and we're back at what, seventh now? No, From I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Down? I don't know. All right, we're getting the old WD whistling diesel in here, and uh, I don't know. Oh, let's go, Z. No chance? They don't stand a chance. What happened to your hair? I dumped a bunch of water on it. But uh, hey. they don't stand a chance. Hey, I've even got my helmet mounted, GoPro, I mean my iPhone, mounted wow. to capture all of the destruction. So all you WD fans watching, I'm not going to disappoint you all. We're going to be sure to wreck it before the end, though. So. All right, get in there, bud. Get buckled up. All right, let's head this way. Danny, this is your first time racing anything. <laughs> Are you excited? Very. I can't wait. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, man. So your partner, Ronnie Mack, totaled your first car. At least you still got this one ready to rip. What's your strategy going to go when you get out there? Um, dude, everyone's done. Everybody. Ooh, you hear that? Everybody. I'm Target on their back. I'm serious. No, I'm serious, though. I'm, I'm going after them all. They're fucked. <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> all right, bud. Oh, Ronnie. All right. Let's keep going. Who we got over here? Man, I thought we were going to see some drivers attacking each other and playing dirty, but it looks like everybody's focusing on themselves, getting resituated. Let's talk to Cooper Baghetti. Cooper, you're getting Jane, or, or Jeremy situated in there. How was it out there, man? This is your second time out at a race. Oh, great. I was, I was doing good. I, I was staying out of wrecks and stuff. A lot of good hits in front of me. I just kind of uh, steered clear. Yeah, that's good, man. Well, my goal. Keep the car in 100% condition, steer clear of wrecks, and, you know, save it for Jeremy because his run is going to be a lot more important. Yeah. Coming up with the second portion is where you're going to see these people with ready to rip. Oh, we got it. Guys, I'm getting word right now that we have a boxing match. A, a, a grudge match is about to go down. Oh, we got two brothers at arms. We got side by side block. We got Doug Butterfield in the blue. And we got Nick Seuss in the. Oh my gosh. We got a helmet still on here. All right, guys. All right. And at the sound of the bell. Ding! Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 
All right, here we go. We are ready to throw down here. This is the second battle of three. Mike Vincent or the C8 Corvette of Matt Whittington. Well, it looks There's like that BR4 is battle launch. one by Mike Vincent. Here we go. Mike Vincent coming out of turn two. Let's see if that C8 can close the gap. Looks like he's slingshotting into turn three. I'll What's going to what? happen in turn four? Here we go. BR4 is getting loose. Whoa! Going into turn one. Woo! Woo! Let's hear it for the VR4. <laughs> wow. Let's get a driver interview on this guy. Hold on. Oh, oh he's going to let it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Take out that Marauder. Oh. Oh, no. Brother, yeah, let it rip. Woo! Come on down. The price is right with this VR4. Can he blow it out? <laughs> Mike Benton said, he's, I'm going to put on a show right That's now. What I'm talking let about. it eat, brother. So $1,500 richer, Mike Vincent, the VR4, makes some noise as he steps outside of his cockpit. He is absolutely hyped. Mike Vincent does it in grand fashion. Cletus, down to hey. you, brother. Hey, did you mean to spin out like that? No, I didn't, but hey, I'll take it, man. Got the W with the spin out. That's what you call doing it for Dale right there. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! That man did it for Dale. Fire me up. A big check. So let's all take right, a look at it right. again. It came down get to our final check. corner, the C8 Corvette challenging. That's Matt Winnington, who got into a battle. You could see, you know, the, missing some panels, down some weight, but it was not enough. As Mike Vincent comes across, he brings it across that final turn. And then just to add just some more flair at it, he goes ahead and spins out because he's pushing that hard. That's what you want to see. It came down to the wire, and we progressed from 20 pairs, 10 pairs, 5 pairs, 3 pairs, and our final battle absolutely delivers M Mike Vincent in that 91 Mitsubishi VR4. Mind you, he does have little stars and stripes there on the roof, as you can see, gets the win. Savage, that's exactly what we expected Oof. with the progression of this competition. But guess what? There is Matt, and he gets 500 bucks for second place. Um, I wonder if it's like Happy Gilmore. Can he just save all those and take them to the bank? There you go. <laughs> Let's hear it for him. Let's go. Well, I'm not going to lie. That VR4 is smoking down there. Looks like it's got a little fluid under there. Run a little hot. Oh, she's, she's running hot for sure. So Mike Vincent, absolutely hyped. Congratulations. And looks like Matt is going to take that check and cash it in and fix some of the panels on a CA Corvette. Cletus with the checkered flag. Was hoping to get that with the Marauder, but congratulations to Vincent. Look at this beautiful sunset here. The sun is setting here, meaning the brand new lights are going to be turned on. Lighten this place up. It looks beautiful, but exactly right the way out. we'd expect it. Look at this. Import versus domestic. Hey guys, you, know, you have a battered up brand new CA versus... A Mitsubishi VR4, some people might not even know what that vehicle is, and it ends up winning. Can I ask you a quick question? Quick Please question. Do. Are you guys ready for the Danger Ranger 9000? <laughs> Summer Racing Danger Ranger 9000. You guys are about to see 37 Ford Rangers on track at one time. Who's dialed in for that? All right, hang tight, guys. We're going to bring the trucks out here. We got a little bit of work to do to get them ready, and we'll be racing in no time. <laughs> yeah, as, as Cletus said, we have some work to do. Get the track prepped. Get it ready because we are going into that Danger Ranger 9000. What, what's at stake here? What's the format? Do you know exactly, Nick? Well, the winners, the first and second place, are going to move on to the 2.4 hours of the mullets. So that's a big deal. Um, anybody at home that watches the channel, I mean, not very many people get to come here and actually race in a race and then be in a race with all of the other YouTube stars. So it's a big deal. I mean, it's going to be a great race. Um, there's some guys out there taking it super serious, like 
I mean, these guys are dialing these trucks in, and there's going to be a lot of rubbing, and rubbing's racing. A lot of danger, a lot of ranger, a lot of 9,000s. A hundred percent. First and second place, move on to the 2.4 hours of Le Mans. It's not moving on, but get to experience that that overall experience, that 2.4 hours, it, which is an absolutely awesome deal. And the format here is 40, 40 Ford Rangers, 60 laps. We're going to break it up into basically the first section, the first half. We're going to take a break, a mandatory tire change potentially, uh, get some fuel in these Ford Rangers, and then finish it out. And again, it's a 60-lap race overall with a halftime break. So... Taking a look at the trucks, we see uh, car truck number 20, 37, 77. Some notable names out here. The 32, from what I understand, Garrett Thompson. He's very familiar with this track. He's done some circle track. He is a notable name. But also Kyle Case in the 61. He's hit every wall in Florida, from what I understand. <laughs> so this gentleman has, has hit every single wall, but he's familiar with it. And he's, he's one to watch here tonight under the lights. I mean, the real question is, will J.H. Diesel finish We get the race? it. You put, like, you're a J.H. Oh. fan, bro. Relax. He, he's either going to make it or I'm done. Records are checkered. What do you, like, you're going to unfriend him on Instagram? That's your threat? <sighs> he's a big guy. Him? He's a big guy, or I would just really give him that. Oh, you're going to choke hold him. Like, it's going to get physical. <laughs> you know, the problem is, is I'm not trying to take on that. This is his swamp. Okay. So I don't want to go that route with Jage, but he needs to have a good showing tonight. All right. I get it. I, I mean, the <laughs> shots fired. Absolutely shots fired. So we are seeing our trucks get prepped in our pre-grid. And I believe we're going to have some special appearances by either vehicles or drivers and some people. Dude, the Summit Racing Equipment became an El Camino. The, tr the van, the van Camino... Looks good, man. It looks solid. Cut off the back half of that thing. What happened? He's you got the, the flow going. I, I don't know the story behind it, but I'm feeling that it's like it's one to let the flow out. All right. As the sun sets, the lights will be warming up here, and I'm seeing them. Again, hats off to Cletus McFarland, just doing a great job of bringing so many different motorsports personalities together, drivers, pilots, personalities. Uh, had the you know, pleasure of announcing with Larry Mack the Freedom 500. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be here for 2.4 hours of Le Moltz, but I believe yourself, and I think I'm, I'm hearing murmurs that Larry Mack will be back. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. That's, that's, he's a legend. That's unofficial. Larry Mack, dude, uh, absolute legend. It's hard to announce with two legends. <laughs> got Jared, and I announced with uh, Larry Mack. Just Nick Savage out here just trying to make it. <laughs> just doing your thing. Just, just every day making it happen. <laughs> That's right. That's what's up. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having me. Um, again, thank you to Cletus McFarland, his whole family, the Mitchell family. Absolutely awesome. Uh, speaking of the Mitchell family, Parker Mitchell will be out there as well. He will be driving one of the Ford Rangers. And uh, we talk about J.H. Diesel. We're saying, check, 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 lanyard issue. Uh, you know, but Parker Mitchell, who is, he was out here last night. He was whipping his Hellcat out there. That's a burnout machine, but he drifted last night. Didn't do the best, but still a great effort in a brand new vehicle. He's uh, ripping around that Ford Mustang in the drag racing world, but uh, it's great to see him out here. Put it together. He came up here. He handed me his slip. He says, here you go. I said, oh, you're going to be racing? He said, yeah, dude. Just got it done. So it's, it's cool to see him out here as well. That's Garrett's brother, Parker Mitchell. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Parker can outdo his brother, Garrett. But Parker Have you drive. ever seen more Ford Rangers in one location outside of a Ford dealership back in 1990-whatever? <laughs> um, unless no. you went to like an O'Reilly's or an AutoZone like cell? Yeah. I, I mean, I that's think about good. it. I like it. I like the paint schemes that some of these guys got going out here. Pretty interesting. So the Summit Racing Equipment van has now turned into the Van Camino. I saw I saw the modifications online, but look at it is missing the back half of that van. I don't know the absolute details of why that happened. Don't know if it got smashed and they cut it off. Regardless, I know it's got some horsepower. It could do some burnouts. It's got some it's got some steelies and it's, it's now a Ford Ranger. It has been adopted and have, has become one 
with the ranger community and says, guess what? I'm down to party. I'm down to take some payload. I will take the ho load off your back. And now that van is a Ford Ranger as well. I'm just excited to see 40 Ford Rangers. Not going to lie, not a big Ford fan. Uh, oh, gosh. Shots fired again, Savage. Jeez. I'm a bow tie guy. But at the I end of the day, you. I know. I know. What other vehicle would you like to see than 40 Ford Rangers smashing around the Freedom Factory? It's going to be a great race. Be interesting to see what's going to happen uh, on the first few laps. Hey, man, I just got an update from the Fun Haver camp. Congratulations goes out to Vaughn Gittin Jr., who just won the Ultra 4 Championship. Oh, wow. Congrats. Vaughn Gittin Jr., a friend of Cletus McFarland, just won the Ultra 4 Championship. Congratulations to him. So guess what? If you're tuning in, you're watching, you're waiting for this, so why don't you go over to funhaver.com, and you can save 20%. Go to freedom tw or go to funhaver.com and RTR and put in Freedom 20 for 20% 20 off of your Fun Haver goods. So congratulations to Vaughn Gittin Jr. winning his Ultra 4 championship. So again, save yourself some 20%. Type in Freedom 20 and save yourself 20% at funhaver.com. There's some pretty interesting exhausts out here. This guy here has got a, a stack coming out of the bed with a flapper. Yeah, the real street number five, I believe that is Teeth and Turbo. No, car number five actually would be the, where are we at here? Oh, that's Pierce Devon, or Devon Pierce, excuse me. Devon Pierce in the real street Ford Ranger. Pretty interesting. Car number 62, we got Archibald Waller. Do you have any expectations of who's going to be dominant out here? Have you gotten any communiques, some inside secrets? Have you been down to the pits? Or have you been cranking some adult libations and just been hanging out? I mean, both. <laughs> I mean, obviously, J2, number 33, just pulled in. He needs to go to the back. Definitely where he's going to finish. But <laughs> he's going to be a number one contender. Of course, Cletus McFarlane. But there's a lot of drivers out here that were putting out some seriously no, like, low, low numbers for a Ford Ranger. Um, they were ripping in practice, so it's going to be hard to say who can make it to the end is the real question. I mean, it's it's all about attrition. It's 60 laps. With a, it's, we have a first half and a second half because we'll do 30 laps. We'll have a halftime break, tires, fuel, I don't know, race tape. You never know what's going to happen. I'll tell you what, the first turn is going to be the most brutal turn. Oh, yeah. I think that's where you know, you're going to see some heroes and you're going to see some zeros. I mean, this guy here, he's got some nice uh, chrome spray paint. Who are we talking about? Uh, looks like the number four car, that Ford Ranger. I'm not going to lie. Uh, went up there to O'Reilly's or AutoZone and got a can of that chrome spray paint. Not mad at it. Well, you know who that is. That's, that's Jack Stan Jimmy. That's James Tall. Well, you know. So, I mean, Jack Stan Jimmy knows how to get it done, and he could jack that thing up, use a, use a can of chrome spray paint, and I, I, think, I think it looks great. All right, so as uh, we're seeing Jack San Jimmy out there, we're also seeing car number two. And uh, thank you guys for joining us here. We're just getting settled in. We're getting our grid ready with 40, yeah, 4-0 Ford Rangers. I've never seen more Ford Rangers outside of a national park. That's how many <laughs> Rangers we got out here. So I'm excited to see how much horsepower, how much calamity, and how much danger, because it is danger Ranger 9,000. Do you know where the 9,000 comes from? I don't. I think it's, it's a just good a question. Number. I think it's just, it just has, has really no relevance outside of, oh, you know what? It's 9,000 horsepowers we're seeing out there. Oh. A lot of ponies, baby. That's what we're looking at. We're seeing 9,000 horsepower of danger, ranger, <laughs> manliness, and just absolute specimens of vehicles. So these things have been outfitted with safety equipment. They have, you know, cages. They got window nets. They have everything outside of, a, you know, talent. You know, we want to see talent behind the wheel. That's, that's what we really want to see. We want to see exactly what's going to happen. It looks like they're lining everybody up. It's going to be interesting to see this many trucks on this track. Nice little 3.8 oval.
Man, everybody's got to. Uh, I, I have I have yet to get a hell yeah brother special up here yet. I haven't had I haven't had lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. I haven't, really haven't eaten much. So I'm just waiting for Garza to show up with that hell yeah brother special. If you don't know the hell yeah brother special, two glizzies, aka hot dogs, with a bottle of Mountain Dew, aka Bartle Skeet. What is it? Bartle Skeets. Bar Bartle Skeets. I, did I say that right? You said it right. Okay. So if anybody wants to bring us up some uh, Hell Yeah Brothers, we'll appreciate that. My okay. boy Jared likes mustard. All of it. Ketchup and relish. Yeah, I'm, I'm a supreme kind of guy. I, I like the sour cream. You know, when, when you go hard, you, you're going to go for it. Oh, I, I hear you on that. I just like mustard. Look at but, how many know. trucks this is, guys. Come on, stomp your feet, Freedom Factory. I need you to get hyped. The sun is setting. The temperatures are dropping. The lights are coming on. And this is Danger Ranger 9000. I see James Tall. James, you look great. The haircut. Jack Stan Jimmy. He got the toolbox, and he's got the can of chrome spray paint. I'll tell you what. J.H. Diesel, you got a man in your corner. Nick Savage is rooting for you. Otherwise, he's unfriended you on Instagram. He might block you. He's not going to stay at your house. He's not going to eat all your food. But, uh, I mean, again, we talk about Cletus McFarlane. Also down there, who, who, what, are, what are some notable names down here? I'm seeing 16. That's, is that Lawrence Kearns? Lawrence, how are we doing down there, buddy? I like the livery. Are you from Texas, or is that just an American flag with one star? Okay, thumbs up. We're, 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 we're saying that. Okay. And here is our running order, and we can see, look at, look at these names. Some of them you know, some of you don't. Jason Reisman, Garrett Thompson, Nick Latow, Lee Pinizek, Parker Teeth and Turbos, Nick Davis, Braden Blythe, Connor Vinci, Tristan Vitito, Mitch Maj, Kyle English, Derek VGG, Peter Ruiz, Cletus McFarlane, that number 99, Bald Eagle. Oh, oh, we got we got a secret driver. I think we, we've the Bald Eagles in the building. We heard rumors about a secret driver that just comes in as like the assassin. And he's ready to throw down. Well, bald eagles in the building. Also, Alex Branschwig, or Braunschwig, excuse me, Devin, P Devin Pierce, Archibald Waller, Adam Arsambia Moore, J.H. Diesel, your boy there, Savage, Lawrence Kearns, Austin Flick, James Jackstan, Jimmy Tall, Josh Reek, Travis Gray, Daniel Bensey, Cameron McConkey, I believe it is, Christopher Massey, Timothy Mahan, Jonathan Parham, Jonathan Morris, Kyle Jones, Kyle Case, Bryce Brown, Eric Haynes, Tyler Hewitt, and... Nathan Meske. That is your official driver lineup. Oh, I get, oh gosh, look at they're wow. getting rowdy. They're shaking trucks. Wow. They are shaking <laughs> trucks. It's like it's like you, you're savage. It's like shaking the ropes on a wrestling match. That's what we need to do. If JH doesn't finish this race, oh gosh. Elbow, top rope, Nick Savage. Look, we got the bald eagle driver walking around. Oh, he's out there. He doesn't take his helmet off. He does not take his helmet out. I'm, 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 sweat, I'm sweating from nervousness. I'm seeing Cletus get suited and booted down there. I'm seeing him throwing on the red suit. Cleter, how you feeling, buddy? Let me, let me get a thumbs up, thumbs down, sideways. Where are you? Oh, he's flexing. I mean, those are Oh, some boy. Tips, oh, kissing bud. the biceps. Woo! Oh, relax. Save some for the rest of the guys. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I could just feel – I feel like it's, you know, it, it's – it's like a Phil Collins song, you know, do 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 do. I can feel it coming in the air tonight, right? Do 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 do. All right, racers, racers, if you can, if you can hear your race receiver, please put your hands out the window. Give me a thumbs up. Can you hear your race receiver? Race receiver for all racers. Thumbs up if you can hear your race receiver. Please, all drivers, thumbs up. Car number 14, thumbs up. Car 40, where are you? Driver 40. Drivers, thumbs up. Want to make sure we are rip-roaring and ready to go. Keep those thumbs up. Keep those thumbs up, please. Okay, and now at this time, if you cannot hear your race receiver, please put your thumbs up. If you cannot hear your race receiver, please put your thumbs up. Jimmy, can you hear it or no? You're good. Put your thumb down then. If you cannot hear, oh my gosh, seriously, one job. <laughs> if you cannot hear your race receiver, please put your thumb up. This is real life Facebook. We're doing thumbs up in person. This is analog. 
Spence, you're looking so good. The sunset is bouncing off you, and you're just looking glorious. I just can't, I can't, I can't even make eye contact with you. He's really yep. got that flow yep. going right now. Oh, my gosh. He looks, just again, like a mix between just Fergie and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the Summit Racing Freedom Delivery Van delivering in more ways than one oh. because now it has joined the Ranger fleet. Chop the back off that thing so it can move more parts to more places, to your garage, to your home. Summit Racing Equipment, Danger Ranger 9000. The tension is beginning to mount. The Rangers are on the grid. I mean, the drivers are, are getting prepped. Who's your top uh, Who's your top five so far? What do you think? You got a uh, top three? What's your podium? I think from what I'm told, Garrett Thompson is somebody to watch. The, car th the truck 32. Uh, also, Kyle Case. Knows the track, but is familiar with the walls. Let's say he has an intimate relationship with them. He swiped right or left. I don't know how that app works. But regardless, he swiped the correct way to be intimate with the walls. And then, of course, Jack Stan Jimmy, J.H. Diesel, Cletus McFarland. Those are the top Ooh. five, in my mind, that are to watch. O overall, I think, you know, uh, I think Cletus has something to prove here. He lost last night. He lost here today. Is he going to go zero for three? Or is he going to have the trifectas for the L? You know what? Regardless, he's feeling the flow. He already won by putting on this event. I think all the fans won that tuned in here, either online or here in the building. Look at my man's kit right here. Look at these overalls. He's got the stars and stripes. He is right there. That's right. He's got the orange shirt. Look at this Give it up kid. for the guy in the front. Let's go. Let's hear it for him. I mean, everybody is kitted to the nines. Freedom is ringing out here, brother. So I'll tell you what, we have so much fun out here at Freedom Factory, but we're going across the country as well, and Cletus McFarland likes to bring the joy and bring the smoke to wherever he may go. Let's take a look at Cletus and Cars here in this last year. He was just trying to be dramatic. Let's make some noise for Vice Good Brother Lowe's. Oh, baby, let's go! Oh no! Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Well, let's hear it for Derek. Come on, make some noise for him. Push team, push team. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's hear it. So James here is 
a previous Please Cars uh, victory. I mean, he's, he's won one before. So this guy's one burnout rival. He's a phenomenal driver. And uh, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, it's Build Tune Race. So James, I guarantee you, he's going to put on a show. And he almost always pops full tires. So James, let's see what you got, brother. Let her freaking rip.